Hello there. Hello everyone, friends, family, all over the world. Welcome. It's Alofa here with another video. Now this video, as you can tell by the title, it's different from all of my videos, but I thought today would be the day to, to go in to this topic. So one, number one, the thing that you need to know, which is step one, common sense. You need to have common sense. Everybody should have a common sense. Why? You're on a boat, you're at a plant, you're working 16 hours a day, so you have to have common sense. For example, if you walk into the in, into to the production um, facility and there's a big pipe right in front of you, what would you do to be able to cross over that big pipe? Would you wait there or would you cross or would you do something about it? That's why you need common sense. Because if you don't have it, that means one, what's gonna happen to you, you're gonna get hurt. That's number one. You will get hurt if you don't have a common sense. Because there's knives, there's machine, there's all kinds of things that would be in the factory processing fish. So you, you need to be able to use your common sense. That's one. Now number two, you need to be able to have a strong mind to avoid things that are not important. You have to think about why you're there. You have to think about um, you need rest right right after a 16 hour shift you know that's why you need to have a strong be able to have a strong mind within you to avoid things that are not important so if you have a strong mind you'll be able to avoid all the other things that doesn't matter that is not important. The only thing that is important for you to get rest after a 16 hour job, you eat and you sleep. Rest your mind and soul for the next day. That's two, that's step two. Number three, You your health is very important. So you will need to let the company know that you don't have any kind of health issue because if you lie or not mention it to them, something might happen. You have to think of the cold, the weather that you will be working for four months and 16 hours every single day. That's one. Your health is very important. So you got to think about that. So you have to check yourself if you have high blood pressure, um, if you're diabetes, you know, they'll still hire you. They're hired anybody, you know, if you can stand for 16 hours a day and if you can work seven days a week for four months, they will hire you. But the choice is yours. The decision is on you and your life is in your hands. So that way um, you can bring your medicine, there is a hospital over there, but it's a small little island. So if I think that from 18 to 40 or 50, the age range for, 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 for safety reasons and safety hazards, because it's in a small, tiny island and it's really, really hard for, you know, access to hospitals, then I think you should think twice um, about your, your, your having to make a decision to go to Alaska and you have health issues. That's, that's what I'm trying to say. Think about you. Think about your health. You know, what's going to happen if you don't make it to the hospital on time. There is a hospital, but 
it's a really small island so it's a small tiny hospital there's limited procedure that it's um, reform there so you know you really have to think about that third step which is your health if you have health issue take a second you know think about it think about it fourth are you committed do you, do you, if you make if if you make this decision to come to Alaska are you going to commit to it are you going to be able to commit to the 16 hours every day? Are you going to commit to to working every day, standing on your feet for 16 hours, working every day, no days off? You know, are you going to commit to that? Before you sign your contract, you have to ask yourself, am I going to commit to this? Because what's going to happen, and I'm just going to be, you know, saying why, I'm, I'm telling you this is because if you don't finish the contract you will be able to pay for the company will not pay for your fare to come home for you to come home so it's your loss that is loss of time loss your money and you don't even have any money yet depending on how long you know you're gonna decide to this is not for you so you really have to think about your decision before you go, before you sign your contract. Are you gonna to commit to this? 16 hours every day, cold, you know. So really think about it. That's number four. Number three, are you dedicated? You know, because anything could happen. Anything could happen. So ask yourself that now six you have to be able to work independently you know you have to be independent you will be assigned to an area that you would work by yourself for i don't know how long you know so you will have to be able to perform the job finish the top the job you know at a certain time they will give you a time frame of what time that you need to finish that job so you can move on to the next one. Um, so that's number six. Can you work independently without any supervision whatsoever for 16 hours? Can you do that? Um, seven, are you a good listener? Meaning um, if I tell you 10, um, 10 things, very fast do are you be able to um listen really carefully and follow follow direction you know are you able to do that um number eight you have to be honest we we love honest people um if you're honest that's another um task that we um tell our people that we are interested in um, honest candidates, you know, because it's much, much easier to deal with common sense, strong-minded, no health issue, very committed, dedication, work independently without supervision all the time, and a good listener and honesty. And are you able to learn fast? because everybody is coming and there's no experience. So everyone, supervisors, um, would have to teach you or train you to, to do all kinds of tax jobs, you know, how to perform it and how to do it, you know, because there's safety um, things involved. So you have to follow direction, you have to, um, listen carefully and you have to perform the job, you know, without harming you. So are you able to learn fast? That's number nine. And the last one, but not least, which is number 10, is your speed. 
can you be able to perform something really fast? If I give you a job, are you gonna take all day? Are you gonna take 16 hours just to stack one pallet? That's an example. I'm not gonna stand there and watch you stack up one pallet. But as an honest person, would you be able to, you know, achieve the tax that we ask you to do? Would you be able to move fast, to be able to load as many pallets as you can in that 16 hours? I don't know. So if you are that person, I'm sure Icicle Seafood, Trident Seafood, um, all the other uh, fishing companies would like to have you. You don't need a bachelor degree. You might need a bachelor degree if, uh, of science if at other level of position, but as a processor, you don't need any type of certificate or um, bachelor or diplomas or all that high education to be able to perform or to get this job. As long as you have these 10 things, then you are hired, you know, because there's a lot of things that you, these are the things because you're, you're gonna be working 16 hours a day. So you need your mind and soul and common sense to be able to function, to perform any job as a processor. You have to be able to have patience with your coworkers because everybody's gonna be tired. So therefore, you know, you have to ask yourself, can you handle all of that, you know, for four months? Can you handle the cold weather? I hope you like this video. And if you want more information about working in Alaska, then please subscribe, leave a comment below. If you have any questions or any information that you would like me to 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 answer, I would love to do that. But if I don't have any subscribers or like, if you don't like my video about this subject, then I don't know um, what other topic that I can provide for everyone or for you. You know that it's out there looking for this kind of job, but. The, the the bonus of this kind of job is that at every season, you're gonna have some money, good money. I can't tell you now, you know, it's gonna be a longer video to go into details of how they pay you and why people are making so much money by going on the boat you know, and why is it so hard work, hard labor? So if you want to watch more and you want to know more, then subscribe and comment. And don't forget to hit that button with the bell. So that way it will notify you if I load or put up any videos. As of right now, until next time. And thank you for watching.